What's up everybody on Charles Car Video. So we're back out here today at Low Country Volkswagen in Mount Pleasant and uh, we're getting video production started. That's right. So, you know, anytime I start uh, working for a dealership or working with a dealership to uh, provide them with video content, the first day, kind of like today, is a, uh, a, a, a dealership day. In a sense, what I'm doing is I'm going around out here, I'm getting shots of the store, the uh, inventory, and really showing uh, some highlights on camera of the actual property. So that's always important to do, you know, because first off, you wanna show people out there in the uh, in the low country here, you wanna show them the amount of inventory they have and that they have plenty of Volkswagen Atlases, Tiguans, Jettas, just a great amount of inventory and all that, right? Because that's the main thing. When people go to a dealership, they want to see that the dealership has inventory and they want to see the inside of the store and all that kind of stuff and see that it's going to be a nice place to do business with. So anyways, that's the first thing today. But while I was kind of uh, walking back to my car here and getting my camera equipment packed up because we've been here for a few hours now and we're, we're almost done with that particular part today I um, I stumbled across this really cool Volkswagen van so uh, they don't sell these in the United States of America maybe if you watching right now live overseas maybe they sell these over there where you live at but uh, I don't even know the name of this van but I thought we would take a look at it real quickly on camera just because it's really unique let's go ahead and do that all right, so we just got done talking to one of the uh, mechanics here, technician, and uh, he overheard me uh, out here talking about the van. He said it was called a multi van. It's around a 2015 or a 2016. And I said, man, tell me what kind of motor is under the hood of this thing. And he said, well, it's a four cylinder twin turbo diesel. What? Holy mackerel, right? That's pretty interesting. So twin turbo diesel? That van right there has definitely got to have some pickup. Well, anyways, I wish, I only wish they sold vehicles like this in the United States of America because I think a lot of people would be really interested in owning and driving one of these. It's just such a unique looking vehicle. Look at the front end on it. Still got the massive size Volkswagen logo. I'm not going to touch the vehicle or anything like that. Um, the guy that owns it is in the United States Air Force and he's not here today. But, uh, you know, I think we'll be okay just to take a look at it. But I'm not going to touch it or anything like that because, you know, it's not my vehicle and uh, I don't have permission from the owner to be touching his car. But that's all right. I don't think he'll mind us just taking a look at it from the outside. So very uh, unique. I love the headlights. Look how big they are. I mean, massive size headlights. They even have the LED running lights right down there, which look great. Two big projector bulbs. I'm not sure if the headlights are actually LED, but uh, it's got sensors down on the bottom, fog lights, got the uh, different plate on there. So obviously the vehicle's from overseas. And I really like the two-tone paint job on it. Again, I don't know if that is a custom paint job on the van or that came like that from the manufacturer, but I can only guess it could be a manufacturer's paint job. I mean, again, Volkswagen, they're really cool with how they design and paint their cars. And if you ever seen the interior on some of the GTIs and stuff, you can see those plaid seats in there and all that. So it could be from the manufacturer. But some of y'all watching right now may have more information to share with me in the comment section because you live overseas. Anyways, Continental tires on it, good looking uh, alloy wheels. Those, uh, those alloy wheels there, I have seen those in America on the Volkswagen Beetle before, and they look pretty good on the uh, multivan here. Does it have a panoramic glass roof up top? Not on this particular one. Doors slide back. Man, what a cool van. So obviously it is, um, it's... You know, it's Americanized in a sense because it is registered here in the state of South Carolina. But I love this sticker on the back of that big old C17 right there. Backup sensors, got a backup camera. I just like it. It's so cool. It really is. Vans um, are really popular overseas. And it looks like the gas cap is even right there by the driver door, which is a great spot to have a gas cap. And uh, on the interior... I mean, look at the inside of this thing. Again, we can only see so much, but I mean, definitely a good looking car. The, uh, the dash there is painted the same red color on the outside. I mean, it's got your window controls all right there. Leather seats, even has suede inserts in the seats. Wow, that is really cool. Anyways, I got a feeling one day 
we're gonna get a chance to uh, to do a little more video with this van at some point. So anyways, let's keep walking around. Let's check out the dealership today. So while we're on the subject of vans, right? Let's talk about that for a minute. Back in the 80s, or maybe in the even the 90s, really, back in the late 80s and the 90s, many vans were super popular here in the United States of America. I mean, I can remember back in the 90s, it seemed like every mom had a minivan. You know, all the American companies were making minivans. Uh, Volkswagen had a minivan called the Rutan back in the day, which actually was on a, a Chrysler uh, chassis. I think it looked just like a um, like a Chrysler or town and country van but again everybody had minivans if you had kids you probably had a minivan or a station wagon so with that being said now being in the 2000 teens okay however you want to say that what's the popular thing now that people they just don't want minivans anymore well the popular thing now is crossovers and SUVs that's right and one of my most favorite two vehicles here at the Volkswagen dealership is the Volkswagen Atlas and the Volkswagen Tiguan. Some of y'all that are familiar with my YouTube channel, you know it. I love me a Tiguan and I love me an Atlas. And we have made several Atlas and Tiguan videos since these new body styles came out in 2017 and 2018, right? Because really technically, the new Tiguan, the body style, is a 2018 on the window sticker, and the Atlas only came out in 2018. But they, car dealerships or car manufacturers seem to put the vehicles on ground many months before the new year actually hits in January. So anyways, let's take a look and see what they got out here at Low Country Volkswagen. Well, they got a great selection inventory. And one thing I do like better about Low Country Volkswagen than maybe the other Volkswagen store I used to work with is they have a nice, a little bit nicer layout outside here. It's definitely a lot more room. They can fit a lot of cars out here and it doesn't seem so crammed up in a sense where all the cars are parked. So it's really nice, big and open. You can walk around, look at the cars and pull one out and film it. Um, you got a lot more room. I like that a whole lot. This is gonna be great for doing videos here. But there's your Tiguan inventory. So they have that whole line right there. There's your Tiguans. Then you have Atlases all right here. And then on the other side of the dealership over that way, there's a whole nother line of Tiguans and Atlases. So they got a great selection of those. Then we have Passats and Jettas, certified pre-owned inventory all on that side over there. Those are called CPO cars, used Volkswagens. And then they have trickled in some of the, uh, the Beetles, the GTIs, there's a Tureg, loving it, Volkswagen Alltrack. So they got everything you need right here at Low Country Volkswagen, a beautiful dealership. The inside's looking great. We'll definitely throw up some shots on the screen today of that. Anyways, let's keep looking around. Let's take the camera off of me for a minute and see what they got going on for some car deals, right? Because, hey, again, some of y'all are car shopping on my channel. I'd like to show you a great deal on this Dune Beetle right here. So if you live in the low country of Charleston, South Carolina, and let me tell you folks, when we think about low country, we're thinking Mount Pleasant, Charleston, Goose Creek, Somerville, right? Oh yeah, all those areas, West Ashley, pretty much anywhere in the tri-county of Charleston is considered to be low country because we're basically below sea level, right? Here is a dune beetle. So what I'm gonna show you folks is if you live in the low country, and you're looking for a beautiful Beetle to drive and you want a great deal, let me show you this one right here. This is a 2017, okay, it's one of the last 2017s we have. We only have a few of them, but here's one right here, 2017 Dune Beetle. Comes with the 1.8 liter turbo engine. I'm loving the color combination with the white, the black flares. I love the logos. The Dune Edition Beetle is just so much fun to drive. It sits up a little higher and it has that kind of off-road look about it doesn't it it really does what a cool car and uh, anyways let's take a look at the window sticker 2017 beetle 1.8 t dune uh, pure white exterior dune gray with black and yellow piping on the interior oh that's sweet you know this car's got a great manufacturer's retail price of 25,135 gets 31 on the highway 24 city average combined 27 mile per gallon and let me tell you the deal they got going on right now in march 2018 
2500 off MSRP. So that's a pretty good deal, folks. I mean, already at 25135 looking pretty good. Take another $2,500 off of that. That's your price. So not bad on the Doom Beetle. There's another one. Looks like pretty much all these beetles here with the yellow hang tag are all $2,500 off MSRP. If that's still not enough discount for you, listen, all I can tell you, after being in the car business for 15 years, just come on up to the dealership, talk with them. They'll figure out exactly how to make that deal work for you. And you'll be driving out of here in a smile, going back home, and you'll be driving that new Doom Beetle you've always wanted. All right, everybody, that's about it for today. So uh, my uh, one of my memory cards ran out of... I ran out of storage right when I went in the showroom and store and my battery literally is blinking red at me right now So battery's done on this camera. We got to get back to the house We got a lot of Volkswagen videos to start editing, but I'm super excited to be here at Low Country Volkswagen And uh, if you're in the market to buy a Volkswagen, I would recommend Low Country now I'm with them and I'm here to help so have a great day come out and test drive with us it's a beautiful place to live at. It's a beautiful place to work. It's a beautiful place to enjoy life right here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. It really is. And uh, just a few miles down the road from the beach. So uh, we got a lot in store and we're going to start doing uh, car events and tuner nights. And we're going to have the uh, Volkswagen Club come out and spend some time with us out here. And I just got a great feeling about this relationship. So anyways, have a good one, everybody. I'm going to hit the road. If you're watching, make sure you hit that like button. Hit the red subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you soon.